Hello? Oh, hi, Josh. This is Chris. Hey, how's it going? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so very much for taking the time to do this interview. Yeah, of course. I thank you for your support, for your time, your efforts. Cool. Oh, very cool. From which part from the U.S. I, uh, are you? I yeah. am from Minnesota. Minnesota, okay. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Well, uh, of course, uh, we're here to talk about the brand new Freedom Call album, Master of Light, which just came out this past Friday. And I just yeah. got to say that it is a magnificent album. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. What went into the writing process for the new album? Oh, that was this time. It was uh, in competition with our life, uh, life schedule. So because we were touring a lot the last two years, and um, like at the same time, so end of the year 2015, uh, uh, sorry, uh, um, in the mid of 2015. And so at, this, at the same time, we had to play a lot of concerts. So I came home from the weekend and directly uh, jumped in the studio to, uh, re- uh, to continue to record or to write the songs. And I found out that is a very good way to bring uh, in your um, recordings, to bring in a little bit more of the, your life spirit. That's what you're usually missing when you are have enough time and you're sitting at home, sitting in your studio, you're uh, writing songs, collecting ideas or song uh, material. And this time I had not enough time to prepare myself. I just came in the studio with a life a fever in, in my uh, in my blood and started to write songs and that felt great. So I was very creative and the songwriting went very quick and easy. Oh, that that's great to hear as well. And I'm glad you brought that up as well is because I really feel like Master of Light really does capture that live spirit of the band. And yeah. <clears throat> everything I've seen from YouTube videos and from this past September when I finally got to see you guys at Prague Power in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, you did? You did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just it really captures the spirit of the band. Yeah, I, but... but this is my attention or this is the plan because um, we are not making music to uh, um, to collect our work of making records or CDs. That's not our intention. I think my intention is to go out to the people, to the fans, to play concerts, to um, stay on stage and to feel, um, yeah, I, I, to, to, to feel uh, the atmosphere of your music. And studio work, yeah, is, is okay. I, I think I like it to work in the studio, but after uh, recording an album, I really getting bored about that because you're sitting and sitting and sitting, drinking coffee, drinking coffee and recording. It's not as um, exciting as being on tour. And so I think uh, this is the hard work for, for, for me as a person to work in the studio and to go on tour to play a lot of shows is the harvest of the hard work I did before in the studio. So that's my point of view. And when I'm starting to write a song, I'm always have it in my view that I'm standing in front of a big crowd which is screaming and is singing along. And that is the base to write a good song that I always have it in my mind that I have to perform this song maybe a half year or a year later for a crowd. Yeah, that's definitely a great way to go about it as well. And I, I love it so much more when a band does think of that in mind, because when you're not just a studio band, you got to play those songs live. And when you have it for that atmosphere of playing live, it makes it that much more enjoyable for the fans and for yourself. Yeah, definitely. But so um, maybe the one reason for this ab- ability to uh, write music in this way is that I'm not um, a studied uh, guitar player or a studied piano player. So I'm autodidact and I'm not trying to um, um, present, to present or to uh, prove the people uh, that I'm a great musician or a great instrumentalist. I don't care. I do not have to prove anything to the people. I do not feel like. And so that maybe makes it that I'm just making music to entertain the people. Because if I would be a very talented guitar player with really fast finger licks and amazing soli and whatever, maybe I would write songs with long solo parts. (laughs) And this is a is a point that um, I had to um, arrange in a different way. So I'm just making music for the people, for the song, and not for the um, musician or for the instrumentalist. Yeah, I have to agree. As much as I love 
the technical aspects that can come from rock and metal. All yeah. I really appreciate is a good, solid song. It doesn't matter how simple or how technical it is. A good song is a good song. I agree 100%. That's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> But um, usually in a, in a rock band or metal band, you have these fast finger lick technical wizard players, <laughs> like, something like that. Or you have drummers, they can play in um, a very short time. And um, this makes the music too complicated, in my opinion. And so I, I think that is the reason why we, why I thought we found the, the perfect lineup with our drummer or bass player and guitar player, because they are not longing for to present themselves to the people. And they are working just for the team and they are just working for the um, for the uh, force of the song and I think that makes Freedom Call as a very good working live band that we always get the crowd and can work with the crowd in a uh, in a very uh, tight um, uh, connection yeah and I can absolutely attest to that after seeing you guys at Prague Power you were easily <laughs> one of my favorite sets of the entire <laughs> festival Yeah, that was so cool because that was the first time ever for us in the U.S. and we were so excited. And usually when I'm uh, playing uh, in Europe, in England, and because I'm, uh, I have to talk to the people in there, um, they are all native speaker and I'm trying to um, find the right way with my um, poor English, that I'm very excited. So in Germany, it's much easier for me to talk to the people, to do all these jokes and to all these things. And so I was really under pressure and I said, oh my God, in the US and, and everybody can understand what I'm saying <laughs> like this. But it was so, so nice. The people are so lovely and nice and we really enjoyed the time very much. How hard was it to be able to come up with a set for Prog Power considering it was the first time playing in the US? Oh yeah, it's always a very hard decision uh, to, ex to decide which set you're playing because we have too many good sets songs probably it's true <laughs> no. <laughs> no no it's it's totally different because uh, in some parts of europe in the in the eastern part of europe like czech republic or slovakia the people are preferring the fast double bass songs And they're really going crazy for that. And then in Spain, for example, they are more longing for these groovy parts or these mid-tempo things. And you always have to make a customized set list. But for the US, I had no idea. I had no idea. So we just did it from, uh, yeah, we, we did it spontaneously. And I think we were not really wrong. I think that was a cool thing. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys hit so many of my favorite Freedom Call songs in just one set. It just made me very happy to be able to see you guys after all this time and to be able to hear so many of my favorite songs live. Yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah, I, I talked to the, to the people and I think that most of the people are into the earlier um, uh, albums, especially the uh, Crystal Empire and the Eternity. And so in, uh, after releasing the re-release <laughs> last year of the Eternity album, our focus wa was uh, on touring. It was the Eternity album. And um, now we have to build up a new set list with a new album with a Master of Light. And so it's a new challenge for us to find a good set list it will be horrible for us <laughs> oh, and, and in speaking of that uh, you guys have released a couple singles so far for master of light what went into the decision to release the songs that you did Oh yeah, I, I think it was uh, just an idea to uh, re to um, uh, release an, a single before the uh, um, um, official regular releases, uh, because we uh, played very big summer festivals, also in the Czech Republic. So we played in a in front of a forty thousand people, and we had a late show, so that was incredible. And so we wanted to bring the people a new song, new song material for the new album, and I decided to use the song Hammer of the Gods because it's a good mid-tempo. It's um, I didn't want to disclose the secret 100% of the new album because when I used the song Metal is for Everyone, I think that is too much. <laughs> I, I, I think we had to use a good song, but not a too good song. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I wanted to, I, I didn't want to, um, uh, to publish the song Metal is for Everyone or Masters of Light or Kings Rise and Fall. 
um, I think that would be um, too too much from this new album. So I think Hammer of the Gods was a good alternative. Yeah, I think it was a great representation of what to look forward to on the album. And then when you finally pick up the album, which of course is available now, you get to see the spirit of Freedom Call, that really live aspect of it. And of course, just all that fun, positive energy that you guys always bring. Yeah, of course. I think that it's one of our um, um, most important uh, things we have to say or we have to bring to the people i think that is the focus of our attitude is the energy um, because we do not have as much <laughs> and so we have songs we have a guitar player we have a bass player and and, and a singer and that's we have but we have a lot of energy we have a lot of of these um motivation we can give the people and for me what way what i told you is uh, that it's not the focus on our technical uh, ability to show the people how fast we can play the drums or the guitar. It's just to bring the people a good time and to um, show the people that Freedom Call is really kicking ass life. That they're, that, that they're really, after the concert, they are um, in, a, in a much better mood, but they are really uh, saying, oh my God, what was that? Yeah, and that's what I love so much about the Prog Power set, is I knew I was looking forward to seeing you guys. I knew you were going to be one of the best of the festival. But being able to actually oh. experience it live with all of that energy, with a sold-out crowd getting just as excited as, <clears throat> as I was for the sets, and just how happy and fun and positive the whole set was. Yeah. I mean, it was just so fantastic to finally be able to see that. Yeah, and uh, we are very uh, uh, critical to ourselves. And so our aim is to bring um, to bring to the people a totally happy and a totally um, um, uh, yeah they the people have to forget all their everyday world for this ninety minutes. That is our plan to do that. That is our aim, and um, we give all our motivation while playing our show, performing our show. And I don't take care of some playing any mistakes on my guitar or. Or maybe I, uh, I'm a little bit late with my with my vocal track. I don't care about that because the most important thing is to make the people happy, to make it worth, to pay your 20 euro for your ticket and forget your everyday world for 90 minutes. That's it. Nothing more and nothing left. And that is such a miraculous way to look at it. And that just makes me so happy to hear that as well. Because with a band like Freedom Call, that's all I would really expect from the band. And I'm I'm glad to see that mentality still going on almost 19 years later. Yeah, of, of, of course. So it's um, what we try to keep us, I, or, or that makes us able to survive all these times because we are not a band which is earning much money with it. So uh, for us, it's not easy to um, survive as a band. We all are professional musicians, but we're not. We we we, we cannot live just from uh, freedom call. So Raimi, our drummer, for example, he has a music school. Also our bass player, he gives lessons. And Lars, our guitar player, he is producing other music, some German Schlager things, things like this, and and so on. But we are we are totally convinced that we found a very important thing. This is um, our beyond. Uh, what uh, our uh, I'm talking about the previous album of us, where we wrote a short uh, story about our. Um, um, what I can say, our sense of life, that we want to give the people a very, very good time. And yeah, we want to try to force their ability to thinking positive and thinking optimistic. And with our shows and with our albums, with our music, we want to give the people just a um, chance to follow us. Just um, nothing serious, but just to follow us, to enjoy their life and just to be not as serious in their life. I think their situation... You have to be serious, and there are some uh, situations they are hard to handle. But generally, life is short. You have to enjoy that, and you have to uh, thinking. You have to think in a positive way, and that makes a life much more worth than some people are uh, believing. Yeah, and I'm glad to see that Freedom Call has taken it upon yourselves to bring that energy to people because, especially with the state of the world right now, with everything that's been going on lately, a band like Freedom Call is absolutely needed to try to help lift spirits. Exactly. In, in this situation uh, in which we are now, with what you said, 
So I think you need things you are believing in. Um, but I do not want to take our ourselves too serious. <laughs> so it, that's not because it's just an it's just a tiny thing for for the listener or for the follower or for the fan of Freedom Call. But he has the chance to forget some hard things in his life and uh, can jump into a. Um, um, maybe in, in two hour be in, in two hour beyond in a world uh, which is full of um, easiness maybe or full of positive energy. And with that, with Master of Light almost being out uh, for a week now, what has been the response for the new album? Oh, it's it's amazing. So in Europe, uh, after the release, um, I was really surprised, especially um, about the response or the reviews of um, some magazines, they were not really friends of Freedom Call because we are not really true and we are too cheesy and we are too whatever, too goofy, <laughs> I heard this word, <laughs> whatever. So they were not really respecting us as a real metal band. But uh, in, a, in a review of uh, The Master of Light, there was a turn, a, a turning point. So I, I, could, um, I could see that really we're writing good things of the, about the production, about the songwriting. And yeah, I was very surprised and the fans are very happy. I uh, could read a lot of messages they were writing. Oh, after Beyond, I didn't expect that they could increase their performance, but they did. And Master of Light is one of the best albums of Freedom Call ever I could read and yeah that makes us very very happy so because we didn't try to force anything so we were so relaxed while the songwriting process and while the production and maybe that's maybe that's the reason that is the reason why uh, because we were so relaxed that we didn't try to um, uh, to to hit the world or whatever or to force anything we were totally relaxed and maybe this is exactly um, the, the secret of success. I think that really does come with the best albums from musicians is the ones where either you're completely forced and it's a hard time with either the band or yeah. in the studio and it just makes for some great music out of bad aspects or in this case with Master of Light which I definitely feel is one of the best albums of 2016 and one of the best albums in Freedom Call's career oh, where you can you. just have that relaxed state of mind and just writing music for you and hoping that the fans will enjoy it as well yeah maybe that's that's it but also this you can't force it <laughs> that you are you can't force it that you are relaxed <laughs> so i think maybe it's just um it's just a moment it, it's a capture of a moment um which you should use to write an album because maybe we were as relaxed because we were constantly on tour and when i came home i was not able to be too nervous <laughs> to record my tracks because i was a bit wasted but but awake so and maybe we will continue uh, we will continue this kind of work that we um i i will tell my agency come on book a long long tour i have to write a new album <laughs> like this <laughs> and, and hopefully that can lead to uh, some more dates in north america so we really enjoyed the time and the audience was so nice and, and we felt so comfortable to stay there and the, the people came to us and said, oh, do you want to have drinks and do you want to, do you want to eat something? And ah, they were so friendly and um, we, all, we all would um, um, appreciate it very much to, to play more shows in the US. But it's very expensive because of the visa and the traveling and things like this. And uh, but it's already in work, and we uh, contacted some other bands maybe to come to the states as a co-headliner or special guest for another band. Oh, that that would be so fantastic! I mean, if I only had the one opportunity to be see, be able to see you at Prog Power, I'd be happy. Yeah. But if, if there's ever a chance for things to come to full fruition with more American yeah, bands, I would, would be so be happy. Yeah, one time, so I think two years ago, we uh, played this uh, 70,000 tons, this cruise. Yes. And yeah, that was cool, cool uh, experience. And next week, we go into uh, Latin America. We're starting in Mexico and, and, and Colombia, Argentina and Brazil. So we are not as far away from the States, but... 
Um, yeah, so we n not continuing in the U.S. Oh, yes. Uh, one thing that I've always appreciated about the band is the artwork that comes with every album. I mean, like, Beyond is one of my favorite album covers. Where did the right. album cover for Master of Light come to be? <laughs> yeah, this is a good, good friend of us, and uh, he's a very young artist. So uh, you can see the style is a little bit unusual for power metal. That is the reason I think a lot of metal bands dislike <laughs> the artwork. And we had a kind of a shitstorm on Facebook when I announced the, um, the cover artwork. And yeah, maybe that's not what the power metal or yeah, the melodic metal fans are expecting. They are expecting more dragons and rainbows and unicorns <laughs> <laughs> like this. But in my opinion, uh, this master of light is exactly this person what we are thinking um, he should be because he is not uh, this epic. He's not an uh, epic guy, so he's not a, a god or or something like that. He's just a very smart, clever guy, but he also has 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 some mistakes, and he also has some um, wrong sides. And uh, I I think um, he's in in my opinion. Uh, he's perfectly um, fitted in this picture. Yeah, I have to agree with that as well. I mean, with the band being so much fun and full of positivity and all these great things, I think that's just replicated in the album cover for Master of Light. Okay, thank you. You're one of, <laughs> of less people. They are agreeing this. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the album and um, I, I think so um, many people were writing okay that is not what I expected but I try to learn to like it <laughs> and maybe we gave the people uh, enough time and a chance to like it and I think we we have this tour and then when they will buy a t-shirt and they will wear it sometimes and they will wear it while sleeping, they will love that. <laughs> yeah, I, so. I have to agree with that as well. I mean, it's just like, when I look at the album cover, it just puts a smile on my face, because Freedom Call always puts a smile yeah, on my face. Yeah, so. exactly. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and I think that's just Nothing. what it's all about. Good. Good to hear. <laughs> That's uh, so awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking the time to do this interview. Uh, it's been an amazing year finally being able to see you guys at Prog Power and to be able to yeah. help promote the brand new album Master of Light, which is available now. Uh, before right. we're done here, is there anything else you'd like to mention that I haven't brought up yet? Uh, of course. I think I could find thousand words for that. So, um, <laughs> Because especially um, the U.S., we were so excited for the first time to come over to the U.S. to the Prog Power festival and we enjoyed this our time so much we had so much fun and met so many great people that we uh, didn't want to leave back to germany <laughs> because it was still warm and comfortable so here in germany we have uh, winter time is coming and so we really enjoyed this time in atlanta and yeah we tried to come back as soon as possible maybe we can get it with a master of light album so we bring the light over to the u.s 